Hey there. As I was preparing to record this video, I received an email from Google Analytics. It was an automated insight and it was the one that I created actually during another video that you are going to find in the description of this one about alerts in GA4 for some anomalies in the behavior of your website visitors. Now, as you can see here, this insight is called new Cockney traffic surge, which is a pretty creative way to describe increase in new users coming from London. Let's set it straight. I don't advise you to use custom alerts to ping anyone except your analyst colleagues about the anomalies in your account. Instead, this video is going to be an explainer how to actually deal with the scheduled reports, automated ones that you need to send to your client or your boss or your colleague or your mama or whoever is interested in what you're doing in GA4. Let's go here in the DDU GA4 rollout property. And unfortunately, Google Analytics still did not introduce the possibility for us to send reports directly from GA4 interface. I'm going to do a little bit of an advanced trick, but you will see how easy it is, even though it might seem overwhelming at the beginning. We're going to create a Looker Studio report and then schedule it to be sent at regular intervals. So let's go into Looker Studio and create a blank report. It's going to ask you right away, where do you want to pull your data from? You're going to say Google Analytics, choose the account, choose the property, add it to the report. There might be some administrative hoops to jump through. Yeah, you're about to add data to this report. Yes, I want to add it to the report. And it shows a starting table with event name as a dimension and use as a metric. First thing I want you to do is to add a control of date range, put it anywhere, and then say, let's do, I don't know, last week, for example. I apply that. Okay, we're looking at these here. Now, for this table, I don't want to look at event name. I want to find session source medium because, yeah, we are all old school universal analytics people and we want to start from session source medium as a dimension. Just have in mind that green ones are dimensions and the blue ones are metrics. So, session source medium, here it is. Make sure not to choose this one because this one is attributed source medium meaning that it's a calculated metric and it's based on the percentage of credit that Google Analytics 4 is assigning according to your attribution model but that's uh, like a whole new topic and I don't want to go deeper in there please stick to the session source medium put it in here remove event name and now you'll have views views in GA4 are the name for page views from Universal so let's go find users, for example, where they are, total users, okay. And then let's say sessions, so we can mimic what we already have here in the traffic acquisition. It says session source medium, and then users sessions, okay, views are not even there. There are some engagement metrics, you can put any one of them as you please. For example, we want to search them and let's say engaged sessions or engagement rate maybe even better put it in the end and then let's say conversion rate or number total conversions or something like that don't get discouraged if you don't see rates because uh, looker is very well suited for calculating any metric that you want to calculate but for now let's stick to this one here and even though it's pretty fundamental it actually reflects what we needed to know about sessions and the sources that actually bring this traffic. Now, once we have it fully designed, which I'm not going to go into right now, you can share this report by scheduling delivery and then putting recipients here, customizing subject or message and then saying when do you want to start, how often do you want it to send, and you'd be good to go as soon as you click on the blue button. Now, if this looks too complicated for you, there are some alternatives straight from GA4 reporting interface, 
but they're going to require you to download reports as they are and then email them manually or via some scheduling platform. Let's say we are looking at traffic acquisition here and we want to export this particular dashboard with this particular time span. Just click on share this report, say download file and download PDF. And as you can see, Google will prepare nice looking PDF that will be accessible in your downloads and you can see how it looks. So it's exactly as a screenshot of what you were looking at on your screen. Now, if you think that it would be more useful for whoever is receiving the email to get access to the raw data, you can share the report by downloading CSV or you can share the link to this report, but make sure that this person who's receiving the email is actually having access to this report or to the GA4 account in particular. Another thing that I want you to pay attention to is that when you're sharing an overview report and there is live data, engagement overview has a live data incorporated in this dashboard. If you share this report, let's say you download a PDF again, it will not include users in the last 30 minutes. So it's a cool way that actually Google dealt with you know, exporting this dashboard. As you can see, we see average engagement time and then views and the tables that were below the one that we were looking at. But as you can see, no real-time data has been included in the export, which is actually, you know, reasonable and logical because nobody wants to see stale real-time data, right? Now, I'm going to end this video with a request. If anybody from Google's product team is looking at this video, please add automation and scheduling emails for sending the reports at a regular time intervals because otherwise we are doing manual work and as you probably know, Google Analytics and people who actually analyze data are usually not the ones who have, you know, the final say. Or maybe this is an overstatement, but there are times that these people actually need to send these reports to somebody who can derive an insight from what they are seeing.